Let's take a look at another question that involves voltage drop. But the difference between this one and the one we looked at previously in the series is we aren't given the voltage drop for the cable in the question. So let's just read it through. A 4 mL squared single phase heating circuit supplies a load of 25 amps. Where wired in flat twin and earth thermoplastic cable, what's the total voltage drop for the circuit if it's 20 meters long? So we've got the IV, we've got the load current, and we've got the 20 meters, but we haven't got the all-important millivolts per meter. No, we do. So where do we find that, Gary? How do we get that? Well, we need to look in the back of the book. Uh, it, con it contains a, an appendix that covers all cables for current current capacity and voltage drop. It covers single phase cables, three phase cables, armoured, single, non, non, whatever. And that is in Appendix 4. So Appendix 4 is a very useful appendix to become familiar with, isn't it? And if, if you're working with your book, have a look at it now. If you've got the flag yeah, tags we that flag we use, then we actually have got volt drop on the flag tag A4. So just supposing that you didn't know you had to go there, how would you know to go there? Well, default position is to go to the index. And what happens there is it will direct you to section 525, which covers voltage drop, which gives you a bit of information, but mainly directs you back to appendix 4, section 6. Okay, so you're going to end up here. Now, we've got quite a few tables to consider here. So how do we uh, get those down? Well, you're already looking there. So let's just take the two bits of information that we have got, which is 25 amps and 20. And then what I'm going to but do. The other thing we should notice, of course, is what type of cable we've got because we're going to need to. Yeah, we have that, to. Aren't we? Yeah. And that's right. And so but the page that you're on there, which is on page 373. So if you're keeping up with us and you've got your regs book open, turn to that page now. Um, this is the, the, the opening page for Appendix 4, which covers, I said, all the sorts of cables. Mm. Um, and I like to start over here, right? Okay. Because um, there's sort of uh, at least 15, 20 cables there, but it's broken down into aluminium conductors. And copper conductors. The question didn't mention what type of uh, conductor it was. Then. No, but if you look and you know about the cables, you can't have aluminium cables unless they're 16 millimetres squared. Okay. So immediately they're so, uh, we can, excluded. We can exclude it. that because there's four. So we know we're looking at copper cables, mm -hmm. so we've immediately sort of reduced our choice. Are we... No. Nope, we're not doing not. mineral insulated? No. Nope. We're not doing flexible? No. Nope. Now we've got a choice of thermosetting or thermoplastic, but I think from the question it was, it was 70 degrees 70 70 degree thermoplastic. So we just eliminated all those and we've concentrated on these five. So we're down to four. So was it single core, multi core, no. non armoured, no. not single no. core, no. Multi no. flat cable? Flat, yeah. Right, so we need to go to table 4D5. Now we can thumb through the page, which is uh, quite, could be quite time consuming, or if you've already been there, like I have, we can turn to that and it's on page. 409. Mm -hmm. Now, a little tip that I do like to sort of pass on to people is, is, is actually put the page number there. Yeah, just so before. Just uh, before there, so that can take you straight to it. So yeah. let's just put that. So if we look at that table, we can see we've got the cross section areas down here. And the title, just It's to got thermoplastic insulated and GK, so we know we're in the right place. Copper conductors, yes. This one deals with both current carrying capacity and volt drop. And I notice all the methods, which is going to be confusing, isn't it? Uh, it can be for some because they're looking at all these numbers, okay? So these are all the current carrying capacity for the cables for certain uh, reference methods, which are at the top, but we'll cover that in another question. But the one that we're looking for is the voltage drop. This table, unlike any other table in this uh, appendix, only covers single phase because we don't do DC in, in twin and nerve cable and we don't do three phase, so it's just here. So it's very convenient to put it all in one table. So this so, is very simply a case of finding our cross-section area, which is four. Which is four? Following it along, we find... It's 11. 11 millivolts. So all we need to do then is input that to the formula, which I will write out just for us to remind us. So voltage drop is equal to millivolts per ampere per meter multiplied by IB, which is the load, multiplied by the length. Now we are going to divide all of that by 1,000 because we need to convert millivolts to, to volts. So the millivolts is 11. 11. Multiplied by the load, which was 25. 25. And the length is 20 meters. Divide all of that by 1,000. By 1,000 gives us 5,500 over 1,000. And the answer is equal to 5.5. And indeed, if we look at the question again, uh, answer B. Is 5.5. There you go. And so a bit more involved, a little bit more delving around in the regs. Appendix 4, very important in that question. But once you know how to work Appendix 4 and find the appropriate table, finding the answer is really very simple again. Simple calculator one, another one in the bag. 
We hope you found that useful. I should stress that the questions we're addressing in this series aren't official exam questions taken from any paper, but they're very typical of the sort of thing you find on questions from any of the examining bodies for the 18th edition. If there's a question or a subject that you'd like us to address in these sessions, then please do drop me a line, dave.austin at learninglounge.com, or you can simply enter the question in the comments box below. And don't forget, there are more questions on our website, learninglounge.com forward slash 18, and even more questions when you subscribe to one of our courses.